everyone and welcome back to Gladiary. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Kindly subscribe to my channel in case you haven't. So today, I just want to rub my mind with you. Yes, because uh, your girl have been having series of thoughts, which I know some people, some ladies are also in my own situation or same shoe like I am. Be a breadwinner be the supporter of your family, be a great, uh, be the only one that can also give out for now. It's your family really, really affected me that also uh, causing me this, uh, the fear of going back home. Yes, you know, when you are working with people who are so good and calm and they receive you, despite the fact that the work may not be friendly or that easy, it may, yeah, it's so stressful but when you are lucky to work with good people and uh, you also about to finish your contract there is actually going to be series of thoughts coming to your mind most especially being scared being fear of going back to your house you know like a prodigal son thinking about what people will be saying if she or he go back to his people yes i was like that and be thinking that what will people say about me because a lot of believe are spending four years 30 years abroad they believe you are swimming in money that means she's thickly rich doesn't mean that living abroad means you are buoyant or you have a lot of money in your bank account which some people never knew about it all they know are she push her the last day she push her the last just come back from outside country so she's in money so something like that have been running into my mind and which make me not to feel like going home despite the fact that my earth is deteriorating these days that i was just praying to god to continue strengthening me yeah so because i i already told you guys that if you know that your heart is not uh, friendly with you no more to continue this work let's go i know that the fear is about that it's not that you wave your heart but it's just about money and the situation of your country. A lot of things is happening in our various home country, which also give us this uh, mindset of, if I go back to that country now, how long will I sustain with the little money I could raise here? Or what is going to happen? How am I going to survive? How am I going to live a better life? This kind of question will be, the thing ringing at your head always and uh, after thinking so long and this is my final answer to all these questions that i've been be contemplating on and you guys already know that i've announced to you that my contract remains six months and i've finalized it with my boss so that's that's brought the the answer because the day i i actually give up telling them that don't don't try to confuse me i'm done already then it was then that i knew i have already gotten an answer to all the questions i'm having in mind that if i said i should be considering what people are saying i will still sit in and if i said i should be running thinking about money because i want to make my family to be okay to be financially stable time will be passed by before i realize it and also my heart it has a lot to do because i cherish my heart and also think about the old age so after this that i know that in the future all these things is going to backfire if i overdo it then i said yeah i have to stop it it doesn't mean that i have a lot of money in my bank account I can't deceive you i've been crying i cried i did i prayed i did so many things i've been thinking even business idea i've been thinking about it because i know what i have in my I bank account so this is going i need to see a lot of a lot of ladies also are also be be inside their room be crying that you have spent uh, five years six years more than that in Arab Gulf country and if people ask you what you have achieved you will feel so reluctant to give an answer which i already told you my own story that i got scammed i don't have a stable business back home again and uh, this is not that friendly that as a first child of my family and i have to help my parents i have siblings sisters, everything like that 
and financial assistance giving out and all that for the past four years everything on me and i continue doing it because i know god will reward me and i can't ignore my family all because uh of financial something and all that because my parents actually did a lot for me most especially those people who supported me when i was begging even for one thousand era which is just we call one we have here so i remember all those times so when i sat down think about it i, I was so scared of saying i want to go back home but i made the decision that my heart my age and my personal plans yes because if you don't consider your personal plan that what you have in future what what you assume to see yourself in the nearest future if you don't remember this if you let it go out of your plan you will re you will regret the missing timing yes because a, one of my favorite korean celebrity that i do watch a lot uh, in an in a interview she said what she missed a lot what she regretted a lot in a, about her life is that timing timing to do the right thing at the appropriate time yeah so if you are not able to do what is right at the particular that like, this is the fresh time to do something yeah when we talk about yes according to her she she's trying to talk about um relationship lifestyle yes i believe i've made a video i talk with you guys that being in your late 20 or 40 30 doesn't mean that uh uh, it's it's the end of the world that you can't get married but let's think about it as a woman if, if you have this mentality that uh you can just get married any fucking time that your age has nothing to do as i do say that age is just a number is a reference but let's think about it let us be reality to ourselves because if you are not reality about this thing believe me you still have the, that mentality of say uh i'm still young i'm still young and you forget about yourself most especially we that have small star show i have a friend that said if she she's like me she won't worry but look at me i'm, I'm i have big star show like i i dare not to say because uh because i'm i'm I, i'm still young i'm still looking for table and all that that uh I, I won't get serious with relationship or get married so please and please don't let go of your personal plan yes if you let it go you never make the right decision of going back to your home most especially with that we are working a home that is still accommodative that they are taking taking good care of us at least is better than some other shagalas you will never make a right decision so and uh, after that i sat down said what my friend told me is right and also if you are thinking about the situation of your country because a lot of people every day if you ask ah you doing over there they'll tell you ah it's better you stay there <laughs> here is not friendly i can't blame those people telling us that uh, our country is not friendly but if you said the country is not friendly it's not okay and you have that wife said ah, that, why would i go back there you would never make the decision of going back but what I, what I say to myself is positive things to my life that even though it may be difficult for some people over there that when I go back there the law will take perfect control and I will make it there because it doesn't have to be that living in her blood is uh, determine your sources there are some stages in life that God just planned for you either to learn learn a lesson or to to gain experience for a future references or to prepare you for a better place this is what i just see my journey if you are the kind of person that see your journey like that you will make the right decision so to my fellow shagalas that have so many thoughts or being scared that going to your country it's not that favorable because you are a good place please and please kindly consider these three things i've mentioned your age your heart because of function and also your ex yes so consider your ex consider your age and uh, ignore the fact what people are saying don't make decision over everything that you had from your uh, fellow people from home that this and that and uh, also appreciate yourself 
make a wise decision that will favor your life and never put everything that uh, your family your family about your life and forget yourself don't lose your time if you lose your time you will regret it yes so i don't want you guys to regret it that is why i'm sharing this i remember i made a video where i said someone spends 15 years a long time here and people are like what is she doing what have she achieved why that and that you know the situation of their country brought them back to this place and those who have kids that you left your kids back home and you were just speaking with them on for our advice to just go home try to go and look after your family and if possible you can return back after a few months of break do that rather than stay and just be speaking to your kid go and see your children yourself and to those who haven't gotten married or maybe your the person you are dating is still financially struggling like i am i can't deceive you but let me tell you what make my relationship uh work and i i never regret dating who i am dating is because he was supportive to everything i'm doing he do encourage me a lot was well, just like my manager i do call him manager because he's a great person in my life that i i cherish him a lot yes so if you are in a situation like that that you have good spouse you have someone that you are dating and it has he, he has a good uh, meaningful effect in your life don't let such people go grow together with him so that your life will be peaceful yes i told a lot of people that uh i i i do have a lot of people messaging me about relationship but i will never let go of the person who stand with me at the last moment of my life like he has been there so many you know when you have someone because a lot of shagalas sending money to their boyfriend to help them do this and all that but what did they do this they just mismanage the money and that but but with every decision that i'm making because i i remember the day that i when i got uh, scam i remember that i refused not to listen to the person i'm dating back then when he advised me so i did my own and he he allowed me to learn my lesson and after that i said have you learned your lesson have you learned your lesson and i'm like i'm so speechless so if you have such people in your life that they they said they can stand with you throughout your life do everything with you and they are not financially stable please embrace them as a lady if you have more than the person you are dating and you know that the person is so serious and is loving and caring please support him financially grow together with the little that you have then plan your life plan your future together so that you can enjoy and have a better future together that's just what i will advise when it comes to relationship aspect and guys if you are curious that uh, she's talking about relationship in this conversation go and watch my uh, long distance relationship where you're going to see my fiance and i we do talk about how we are surviving be far away so guys that's just uh, a little branch you can just check the link on my description box so something like that if you have people like that in your life embrace them but never forget the timing and never forget about yourself it has a lot of things to do in your life so that you will let go of that scary cat that you have been nurturing in your heart yes i have been nurturing this in my heart to the extent that Today, I will tell my fiancé, this is what I have in mind. Tomorrow, I will change my mind. It will just be like, you haven't decided what you want to do. And it's kind of person that, okay, everything, okay, okay, okay. He never argue with me about my personal decision, about my life. But even you have someone like that in your life that uh, do be positive with everything you are doing, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a serious thinking about your life because if you don't you will regret it for you not to regret kindly have a good thought have a wonderful day my fellow house manager bye